All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be taking on the 42nd virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash on Global. As you can see, there is a timer above my head for those of you that want to race me. And uh, real quick, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Gamer Subs. If you guys would like to pick up a waifu shaker like this one or try one of their many, many different flavors like the lychee or Granted your grape, then make sure to go check out the link in my description. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 10% off your entire purchase. Once again, that is GamerSups TIGER for 10% off. And uh, with that said, let's jump right into it here. Now, I do want to make a few adjustments to some of the typing, specifically Extreme STR. I want to take out somebody for the new kid boo um let me see that's tough actually because they're all pretty good i don't love the full power frieza so maybe i'll take him out or actually maybe the majin vegeta yeah let's take out majin vegeta we'll put in kid boo and um i kind of want to bring another boo with him just to have a potential linking partner so maybe we'll do uh, full power Frieza, and we'll put in the STR Super Boo, maybe? I mean, there's not that many good options for Boos here anyway, so I guess we'll put STR Super Boo there, and then for uh, Super Fizz, obviously I want to get the new Goku in there, and we'll have to take out... I guess Tien. It hurts me to do this, man, but I'm gonna take out Tien. No, actually? Maybe UI Goku? Nah, yeah, okay. UI Goku, UI Goku for sure. And let's put in. Is. Super Saiyan 2 Goku. And then. I think that's actually fine. Yeah, because he has a couple of linking partners in like the Vegeta. The other Goku. Should be okay. Alright, so. That is done. We're gonna jump in. First enemy is the Invisible Man, so I'm going to quickly put together my Pure Saiyans team here, which is basically just the uh, Team Bardock. So I like to do these guys, no, this guy and this guy, and then we'll do all five members of Team Bardock, and we're ready to go. So if you guys wanna race me, then make sure to click start at the same time as me. We're gonna go together in three, two, one, go. All right, we are officially in. Um, this first stage always is a little bit iffy because it could take, you know, like five seconds if we get lucky. It could also take a couple of minutes if uh, this guy decides to, you know, nonstop dodge us. So it really depends on our RNG here. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so he's supering us, and Trugesh gets stunned. Is this gonna hit? Oh my god, okay, so... <laughs> he didn't get a single dodge off. That's amazing. Okay, so that was quick. That was quick, under one minute for the first stage. I love it. And moving on to stage, or rather enemy, number two. There we go, this guy should be quick as well. Uh, we're gonna go with extreme tech here tech extreme and uh, Obviously just these two as leads and then whoever else wants to be in there. There we go I'm gonna go as quickly as we possibly can try to get a good time, but obviously the guy that makes me very nervous at the end is The Omega Shenron because you never know with him man that guy um, Honestly is getting a little bit too hard <laughs> I know I asked for a challenge, but I'm like dying multiple times to him now, which is just something that's very unfamiliar to me when it comes to uh, Ultimate Clash. Um, and last time, actually, I, I completely used up all my units and still didn't beat him because he was like one-shotting. So basically after the first team, which like did okay, got him to like maybe 30-20% HP. Uh, he kept one-shotting me every single time for the remaining teams. Um, so I'm scared that's gonna, hap 
going to happen today as well, which would really, <laughs> really suck. But we'll see. Got to stay positive. I'm not going to worry about it until we get there. But that's definitely a concern that's uh, at the back of my mind, you know. So here we go. Uh, let's just grab these guys. Confirm. Okay. We got Thouser. Salza. Okay, here we go. Um, I think this guy in the first slot definitely makes sense. I'm going to put this dude. That's better. Okay. And full power Frieza. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he solos him right now. Especially if we get that third super attack. Let's see. It, it still like blows my mind how good this guy and the Super Saiyan Goku, the Intel R Super Saiyan Goku, um, like how good they still are. You know, considering it's been wait no, it hasn't been that long, has it? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no. I thought it was it was two years. I thought it was two years ago they came out. No, it was last year. It literally came out last year. That is actually not that crazy. Um, forget what I said. You know what? Let's just focus on the runs here. <laughs> Clearly, I am uh, becoming senile. I'm getting old, guys, okay? Like, it's been a while since we started this channel. Um, definitely, my memory is not what it used to be. So, you just gotta allow me to uh, be dumb like that sometimes. Okay, so, got Rose. Uh, let's throw in Broly. Let's throw in this guy for support, and then... Uh, we just need more damage, so I guess this is fine. Okay. Here we go. Almost through the second stage. Obviously, the third stage takes the longest, so it's not like we're really even halfway through yet. Not even close, actually. Okay, so he sealed our uh, cell. That sucks. But we can give a good amount of orbs to the Vegeta. That's going to give him a little bit more attack, even though he's still not going to do that much damage. Uh, Kid Buu, though, should do something, something nice. Okay, 2.5. It's decent. Crit. No crit there. Additional. Normal, though. Okay, so, yeah, this guy might take us two rotations. He might take us two rotations. Which, uh, I guess is acceptable. It's not ideal, but you know what, I'll take it. Two rotations it is. Um... Yep, getting about 600k the Vegeta. <laughs> you know, these guys don't hit as hard as I remember. I remember these guys used to do like more damage. Uh, maybe that was just in my mind. But, um, yeah, these supports, I don't think they've aged like super well. Um, that's why I'm kind of on the fence about going into the type banners when they come out. Like the, you know, tech type, L uh, SDR type, int type, so on and so forth. Because I do want the supports I'm missing, but at the same time, like, they're not super necessary anymore. And by themselves, outside of the support, they're actually not that good. Not that impressive. So, I don't know, guys. If it comes to chasing out Lars, you know, I think those banners are probably a little bit more worth. More worth. But if you specifically just want the supports, I don't think you need them. That's just my opinion. I don't think you need them. So maybe save your stones for the anniversary instead. That's just a thought. Um, I will make a video, you know, going over, you know, what each of the banners will probably contain and, you know, maybe talk about the supports a bit, see uh, whether or not it might be worth it for you. But for me personally, man, I'm probably, it's probably going to be a skip. Okay, um, why didn't I bring the Super Boo? Like the support, 50% support Super Boo. It would have been the second leader here. Okay, so instead, let's just bring this guy, and then we'll do uh, the booze. Let's do Cell, and I guess these guys. Why not? I don't know. A bit of a weird selection. Doesn't really matter, though. Uh, the trunks should be still pretty easy. It's really uh, when we get to level 3 that things get kind of real. Alright, um... I'm going to put these guys here for sure. Broly has like no defense right now. He will build defense. But yeah, as you can see, man, right now, 28,000. That's that's even lower than the Goku Black. That's really sad. <coughs> uh, sorry, guys. I'm still not feeling 100%. Like, I'm not sick by any means, but I still have this like persistent cough that hasn't really gone away. 
Um, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's not really bothering me too much. It's just like every once in a while, I need to cough. And I know that's not like a great sign. You know, you never want to have that, but I think it's okay. <laughs> It'll probably just go away by itself eventually at some point. I hope. Anyways, Broly putting in some good work. Broly putting in some great work, doing good things. Uh, Goku Black hit surprisingly hard there, actually. Although he's taking a crap ton of damage. And we are going to, I guess, let Cell finish the job here. Yeah, that should do it. That should do it. And we're going to move on to stage 3, where Omega Shenron is waiting for us. Ugh. I don't know if I'm ready, guys. I don't know if I'm ready. This guy just makes me so nervous now, man. I never really felt this way about Ultimate Clash before, about Battlefield before, because it was always just like a kind of a cakewalk, right? But these days, man, Omega's getting too hard. <laughs> He's getting too hard. <laughs> All right. Level two clear, no problems. Level three, let's go, come on. Okay. Uh, let's fight the... I'm gonna say Goku first. Let's go for the Goku first. I don't know why. I just felt like it. So he is AGL. We're gonna go for our Super Tech team now. Oh, wait. Did I use my Extreme Tech team? I did. Okay. So, yeah. So, Super Tech. And let's do... Um, Tien. Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, I'll grab these guys. These, this guy. And... Obros. Why not? Okay. Yeah, tech team looking solid. I think uh, we'll be fine here. I did struggle with one of these guys before. I don't think it was this guy though. I think it was actually the Piccolo Jr. That was wrecking me for some reason. Yeah, I think it was the healing maybe, or maybe it was Cell that was causing me trouble. Like one of these guys was causing me issues. And it was because of the persistent healing. And I know this guy doesn't heal, so it must have been, yeah, one of the other guys. Now, we got a really good rotation here. I have a feeling we might be able to actually take him out with this LR rotation right here. Because we got three LRs, all of them getting their 18 key supers. Um, this guy might get an additional super. There he go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> a lot of times when I see the, the pause, right? Like the, the black screen for like a second, I'm like, that's probably an additional because that ends up usually being an additional attack, but I guess not. There you go. See, that, that's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. Usually, when there's like a black screen brief pause, it becomes an additional super. That's why I thought that the, the Gohan got a super, but clearly he didn't know. Oh, he can dodge. You see, yo, if that super had landed, I think the Goku might have been dead. <clears throat> but no, it looks like we're going to have to put in one more rotation, which I guess is... <sighs> it's fine. It's not a huge deal. Okay. And... This should definitely do it. This should definitely be enough damage. Unless he dodges us again, I guess that's a possibility. Oh, we're taking a good amount of damage. So it's not just Omega Shenron that's getting hard, it's like the enemies around him too are also getting pretty tough. You know what I mean? Like, this Goku, the, the Vegeta, the Piccolo, who's the other guy I forgot, but he's tough too. Cell, right? It's the second form cell. They, they're all getting like really hard. Oh goodness. Okay. Well, I might have underestimated this Goku a little bit. Okay. Additional super. Thank you. That's that's clutch. <clears throat> one more super attack. We just need to land one more super attack, and we'll be good. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for, uh, let's go for Gogeta in that first slot. That's going to be a nice super attack for them. Or, you know, the, the Goku and free, uh, Vegeta that eventually become Gogeta. And there we go. Please do not dodge this. Let me just get out of here. Making me a little bit nervous. There we go. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's take on the cell. 
Now let's take on the Cell. Second form Cell, he's tech. We're gonna go for our Super Int team, of course. And uh, let's do Gogeta, Gohan, Gogeta, Vegito, SSBE, UI, and you know what? We need more damage, right? We need a lot of damage because this guy heals a lot, so let's go for LR Gohan as well. That is a nice setup. I think uh, we'll be able to out damage his healing for sure. Okay, um, let me see. I'm gonna put Gogeta there actually. Oh, you know what? I want to give a lot of orbs though to my Gohan. Wait, let's put Gohan there. And let's get two rainbow orbs for the Gogeta, and I'll give three orbs for the Gohan. He's not gonna do much anyways. Of course the first attack is super, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about, the first attack being a super attack. It's fine, it's fine. It was worth it for all those orbs. It was worth it for our ability to give him like eight orbs on this turn. We had to sacrifice some HP for that, but it's, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, okay. Yeah, this guy has so much HP, man. Like we did a good amount of damage. And I only did like two bars. Now it's four bars after the two supers, but the point is the persistent healing coupled with the massive amount of HP makes, makes this guy uh, no fun to face, that's for sure. Um, I, yeah, I think we'll keep the SSBE and the UI together since they do share a good amount of links. And uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta hits really hard too, but. He just doesn't really fit with the theme of this rotation right now. Look at that healing. Oh my god, 4.6 mil. 4.6 mil. That's just not fair, man. <laughs> That's just not fair. There's some people out there, a good amount of people actually, that won't be able to keep up with all that um, healing, right? Like, they, they just won't have units that can consistently put out enough damage to out damage his heal. Now we should be okay with this team. I'm just saying, like I feel I feel for those people, man. I feel for the people that are newer players that don't have as, you know, OP units or at least like as built up units. That would really suck. That would really, really suck. Okay, this super is gonna be fine. We're not gonna take much damage here. Okay, well we took 100k, but that's not terrible, <laughs> I guess. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put Vegito in that first slot in case he gets supered. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then we can give three orbs to Gogeta. And damn, okay, so just a 12 key super for the Gohan. And there's the massive heal. Not a lot of attack for the Vegito. Oh, damn, okay. We need, we need some additional supers here. We need some additional supers here. For sure. Oh, thank you. Yo, this guy answered our prayers, man. As soon as I said additional super, he was like, yo, say no more, fam. I got you. I got you. Okay, now we need another additional super from this Gohan, or at the very least, a crit would be nice. Oh, come on. Damn. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, there we go. Boom. Done. Oh, I should have turned off the animation. <laughs> That's gonna add like an extra 10, 15 seconds to my runtime right here. It's okay, I guess. But you know, I've definitely lost a lot of races this way by by you know popping active skills when I didn't need to. Okay. There you go, sell, done, two more before we face the main bad guy, the big, the big boss, Omega Shenron, uh, Int, so we're gonna go with Super Fizz, and uh, obviously we gotta bring the new Goku, so let's do the Gohan, uh, Gotenks, Goku, GT Goku, this Goku, and then double Goku and Vegeta. Yeah, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 17 minutes so far. 17 minutes in. 
making okay time. Not 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 terrible time, I would say. Um, let's do this maybe. I think that's fine, and then we'll give. I guess we'll give these to Gotex. I was trying to give him 11 key super, but it wasn't gonna happen. And then we can give. Oh, okay. So just the 12 key super. The Gogeta. Yeah, this guy heals a lot too, if I remember correctly. Like it's just really annoying to have to deal with the constant healing and trying to out damage the heal and also taking a lot of damage because they hit really hard too additional super beautiful yo i love this goku man <laughs> i really love this goku he hurts you though which kind of you know is, is detrimental but um i think he kind of makes up for it with his his damage additional supers the tanking right there as you can see great tanking um yeah great unit great side unit Okay, so the healing is definitely not as bad as cells, from what I can tell. You know, cell heals for like uh, 4.6 or something like that. This guy healed for 2.8, so relatively speaking, not too bad. Not too bad. And we got some nice supers here for the GT Goku and the LR. And hopefully we can do some nice damage here. Ooh, ouch. Okay. It took some nice damage there. But, we'll deal it back twice as hard. So, no problem. Additional. Ah, come on. Additional super would have finished him off. I'm pretty sure additional super would have been enough to kill him. Or we would have at least come really, really close. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah. Here we go. He's dead. He's dead. No problems. No problems. Blue boys still got it, man. LR blue boys still got it. Okay. Just Vegeta now. And then, of course, Omega at the end. But we're not thinking about that right now. We're not thinking about that right now. Um, One sec. What type is Omega? You know what? I'll worry about it later. Like I said, not thinking about it right now. I'm guessing he's Fizz, right? He's Fizz. STR. Yeah, I haven't used my Super STR or Extreme STR team, actually. I just realized. That's good, though, because we can use both if, in case one of them dies. Okay, uh, Super AGL. And uh, let's do Kamehameha. Slash Goku's family. Um, and then we'll do... Yeah, these guys. And... Uh, who else fits here, actually? I guess I'll go with Bitboo, because because why not? Okay. What does this guy do again? Is it multiple supers or is it stuns or Honestly, I don't remember. I couldn't tell you. Either way, we got this. <laughs> we got this either way. Nothing to be concerned about. That is a lot of orbs. I'd love to see that. Let's go. I can't wait to get the Super Saiyan 4 EZAs, guys. The, the LRs, of course, um, for the anniversary. Like, that's going to be sick. The Goku still hits really hard, even for for today's standards, I would say. But, with that EZA, man, I can't wait. I can't freaking wait. Alright, so we're putting a lot of damage on this guy. Putting a lot, a lot of pressure on him. And if we get additional super, no additional super there, okay. Well, I think we got this, man. I'm pretty sure after these two supers, he'll be dead. Let's see. Yep. Yep, this should do it. This should... No, okay. Not that one. UI though. He's got to get at least one additional super. He's going to at least get one additional super attack. So we should be good here. We don't need it. Okay, one super is good enough. Here we go. Whew, it's time, guys. It's time. Fizz Omega Shenron, which is his actual typing in the game as well. 
and STR just happens to be one of the strongest typings in the game, specifically Super STR. So I am feeling pretty good about this. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, let's go for, of course, the double Super Saiyan 4s. And then, I mean, I, I, I could bring Cab up. I don't trust his defense. So I'm going to go for UI. I'm going to go for Vegito. We're going to go for these guys for tanking purposes. And then, or dodging and tanking. And uh, lastly, Super Saiyan 3, Vegeta as well. Or, of course, defense purposes as well. Okay. Okay. Ooh, double Super Saiyan 4. Oh, God. Of course, he locked our rotation. What a douche. Okay, so that's going to be... We got a 24 key super here is what I'm looking for. Or not 24, even an 18 key. Uh, looks like we're just gonna miss the 18 key super. Unfortunate, but it's okay. And then we can get an 18 key super for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta right there. So he's gonna massively raise defense. Because there's a lot of attacks at the end, which uh, scare me a little bit. But I trust this team, man. I really trust this team. It is, like I said, one of the strongest types in the game. And there's the super. Uh, 68k, no problems. <laughs> no problem. We're good. We're more than good. We're great. <laughs> We're in great shape right now. And that was an amazing crit. Thank you, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Appreciate that. Making me look good right now. And, uh, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing well. Okay. Oh, yeah, you want to lock? It doesn't matter. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, there's fine. Um, or sorry, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And he doesn't disable dodging, right? He doesn't, if I remember. Yeah, he, he doesn't disable dodging, which is good. Um, I'm going to give these Super Saiyan 3. Give those. The UI, and then doesn't matter. Give a couple. Luis, we don't need him for damage, though. All we need him to do is get some dodges and take some hits and not die. And uh, then we're good. Then we're good. I gotta say, man, this is probably the easiest Omega Shenron we've faced so far. Um, just because of the typing, once again, like I said, Super STR probably, arguably, the strongest type in the game. And, uh, since he's Fizz, you know, we got a big advantage there. So, that's good to see. And, of course, Whis going off with the dodges. I love to see it. I love to see it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so he's gonna lock my, my Gohan. Little does he know, Gohan's a beast, man. Gohan's a monster, so that wasn't really a great idea. He's not going to take any damage from you. I mean, he will take a little bit, but not much. Not much. There you go. Now, he's not going to do a lot of damage either, but we don't need him for that. This could do like 100k, maybe. Oh, 52. Yeah, that's nothing. That's nothing. All right, well, this is gonna be it, guys. Um, this rotation should finish him up. Yeah, oh, yep, yep, yep. And then Vegito, with that full 24 key super, it's over. It's done. Goodbye, Omega. I'm ready to stop the clock at now. There we go, just under 26 minutes, guys. 25 minutes and 59 seconds. You can round up to 26 minutes if you want. Doesn't really matter to me. Only thing that really matters to me, honestly, is the fact that we beat him first try. <laughs> we beat the Omega Shenron first try, which is not something I can say for like the last two ultimate clashes we've had on Global. I've been struggling pretty hard um, as of late, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, um, I shouldn't summon. I shouldn't. I, I, sh I shouldn't summon. But I do want that second Kid Buu or Goku. In fact, I kind of want the second Kid Buu more like the second dupe for Kid Buu. 
more than the second dupe for Goku. So... F it. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Screw it. We earned it. We earned it. Okay. Ooh, Beerus. Beerus coming in. Let's go. Let's go, Beerus. Come on. Yo, bring Whis with you, man. Bring Whis with you. Damn, okay. Well, it's probably nothing. It's, it's probably nothing. But it could be something. It could be something. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Alright. Evil Boo. Hoi. And... Guaranteed SSR will be a Fizz Trunks. All right, well, it's about what I expected. About what I expected. But we're going to do some singles now, because in case you guys missed my video yesterday, singles have been pretty, pretty nice to us. Singles have been pretty nice to us, so I am not counting out a potential Kid Boo on a single right here. Is it likely to happen? Hell no, absolutely not, but it could happen. It could happen. I've seen it firsthand, okay? I've seen it with my own eyes on this tablet. Yo, I thought it was Goten and Trunks. <laughs> Yo, that was a tease, man. I thought, I, I swear it was Goten and Trunks. Instead, it was <laughs> Chiaotzu instead of Trunks. Damn it, Chiaotzu. Okay, last one, guys. Last one, moment of truth. Final chance for our second... Kid Boo dupe, and of course Trunks shows up now without his boy Goten, so that's it guys, what can you do, what can you do, now do I want to buy anything with coins in the Baba shop is the question, because I still need a couple of copies of PyCon, but yo I'm not going to spend the coins on PyCon, let's be honest. And I don't need anybody else. So yeah, no, we're not gonna spend any coins. Um, I'm gonna hold on to them until we, I don't know, get shafted really bad on like the anniversary banner or something like that. We'll see. But that's it, guys. That's gonna do it for now. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you beat my time, and also how you found this uh, this month's ultimate clash because I found it to be okay. It was still tough, but the Omega was definitely the weakest Omega. Or, okay, not the weakest, the easiest Omega Shenron I've faced so far because of how good Super STR is as a type, right? So, um, that was nice, but otherwise, yeah, no, Ultimate Clash is getting pretty hard. It's, it's, it's getting pretty hard, and um, it's not going to get any easier, that's for sure. So, good luck, guys, and uh, thank you for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and uh, until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>